Palabadosh. Amen. Thank you, Father. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. I need the only thee. Every hour and a day, oh bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. Bless me now, my Savior, I come to Ali Gabara Sondari. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Lego Zumpan Talamadelia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zeleke Palaba Son Tede Mekapa. Likanton Ton Namahandelia. Jesus, you are wonderful. How many of you are ready for what God is about to do today? Oh, I can hear your response. Hallelujah. Your response will be of a value in this hour. How many of you are ready for what God is about to do in your life? Amen. Hallelujah. Get ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Get ready. Say this loud and clear. Say every dragon planted in my body. Every dragon planted every dragon planted in my body. Every dragon planted in my body. Attacking my destiny. Every seed of the dragon planted in my body. Be uprooted by fire. Go ahead and fire prayer. Le graga zaban talabande le bebia irregade rebebia barandi zagalaba le branda rebebia irregade rebebega rebebega barandi igarrega zagaria paradia let it be uprooted let it be uprooted let the seed of the dragon be uprooted by fire agragaze branda le mahandalia the name of Jesus zagraga zaba le branda le bele me kapia shade le branda rebebega barandi zaliga dalaban tele bebia. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Somebody say God is good. How I many of you know that God is good in your life? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, lift your hands on fire and say, In the name of Jesus. Say, Right now, I receive complete dominion. Over the works of Satan. See, right now, as I begin to pray, every stronghold erected against my life, I pull it down by the power of the blood. I take, hey, say this prayer loud and clear. Say, every darkness hovering in my heavens. Every darkness moving in my heavens. When darkness is moving freely in your heavens, it interrupts your signal. It interrupt, interrupts your movement. Interrupts the ability to hear from God. Hallelujah. When your heavens are being blocked, 
when something has interrupted or interfered with your heavens. Hallelujah. There is what happened. The Prince of Persia was fighting in the heavens, in the second heavens. Whether you like it or not, it was in the heavens of Daniel. Daniel was praying, angel was coming, but there was a second angel. A, a, the, the rulers of darkness began to wage war. Began to wage war against Daniel's prayers. Began to wage war against the helpers of Daniel. Began to wage war against the prayer request of Daniel. Began to try to wage war in the heavenlies. There was a force that was deployed into the heavenlies. I don't know what it is. I don't know what power is in your heavens. Amen. You are going to pray today. You are going to mastermind every satanic attack by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Get ready for what God is about to do. Hallelujah. Get ready for what God is about to do. Say this loud and clear. Say every darkness moving in my heavens. Every darkness sitting in my heavens. Say by fire, by thunder. Be cleared away in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every darkness in my heaven, sir. I clear you away by the blood. I clear you away by the blood. I clear you away by the blood. Let the blood of Jehovah, the blood of Jesus, I wipe out her. In the name of Jehovah, I drive out every form of darkness in my heaven, sir. By the power in the blood of Jesus, a gragazigria. Malemen eleme mia cadilia, a ragazia, eleme le mahandali kabara, a ragazigria baradia. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, my Father. The name of Jesus, wonderful God. Oh, labra baba baka shanda baha. The noise is down. Thank you, Lord. Help us. Hallelujah. Help us, help us. I want to get the noise so that you can hear me very well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure you can hear me now. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Ragazi Gabara de Ribebio. You are going to pray. Every darkness hovering in my heavens. Every darkness. Listen, they are not permitted. Listen to me. Listen to me. A man and aircraft cannot fly over the White House. It's an error. It's a threat. They shoot it down before you arrives. Any darkness that is hovering in your heavens. All they are doing there is to interrupt, to block your signal, to stop the voice of God, to release a form of confusion, deception in the name of Jesus. Some of us will be hearing all kinds of negative voices, familiar voices, familiar spirit, and we say it's the voice of God. Why? Because we allowed, we allowed the enemy to interrupt our heavens. We are going to pray today. Every voice of the wicked, God bless you, every voice of the wicked. I need some warriors to shout it loud and clear. Say every voice of Satan. I like that voice. I like that. You know one thing that the devil began to do? When the Bible said the Spirit of God came upon Jesus. And he said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Publicly he declared it. Everybody heard it because the heavens broke upon. Suddenly the Spirit of God drove him into the wilderness. Drove him into the wilderness. And the devil said, eh, if God can speak to this man. And said, this is my son. Let me mess this man up. Let me mess him up. Because I heard the voice speaking. Why will God begin to proclaim? Let me speak to this guy. Let me deceive him. They're going to pray today. Every voice. Every voice from the flesh. Every contrary voice. That's projected into my heavens. Projected into my dreams. Every voice of Satan speaking against me. It was the voice of Lucifer that deceived Eve. It was the voice. It was the voice. It got that Eve. It got that Adam. Hallelujah. Out of the garden of prosperity. Out of the garden of rest. Out of the garden of, of blessings. Hallelujah. I don't know what voice is contending against you. I don't know what kind of voice. But the, Jesus said, get the hands away from me. And the Bible says, Satan left him. You're going to pray today with divine authority. Say, every satanic voice ministering against me. Every voice interfering with the voice of God. Be silenced by fire. You voice of the accuser, depart from me by fire. You the voice of the accuser. 
you the mouth of the accuser. Every word of the accuser, every voice of the accuser testifying against me, speaking or ministering against my life. I command you, voice of the accuser, you voice of the wicked one, depart in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Let the voice of the wicked depart from you by fire. In great area, Jesus said, Satan, get the hands from me. And the voice of Satan was closer. And the angel of the Lord arose and began to minister to Jesus. It's time for you to hear the voice of the spirit. Every voice of confusion, every voice of Lucy Every voice from the pit of hell, I command you, depart in the name of Jesus. I command you, let the voice depart. Let the voice of evil depart. Let it depart from my children. Let it depart from my wife. Let it depart from my husband. Every voice of the wicked, I said, depart by the blood. Every voice of confusion, I said, depart from me by fire. I silence the voice of the enemy. I take authority over every satanic voice. I subdue the voice. I subdue the voice by the blood. By the blood of Jesus. Let the voice of the wicked be subdued. Oh, my brother, my sister, you got to increase your voice. You got to increase your voice. I subdue satanic voice. I subdue evil voice. Every voice of seduction. Every voice from the pit of hell. I subdue you by the blood. I subdue you by the blood. A great area. I command every voice. Influencing my destiny. Be silenced by the blood. I break the voice by the blood. I destroy the voice by the blood. A garabasanda. You voice of the wicked one. I command I need to depart from my life, uh, depart from my ministry, depart from my destiny, depart from my dream life, depart from my finances, depart from my career, depart from my helpers by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the voice of the wicked, uh, every voice uh, testifying, uh, every voice uh, arising against me, every voice uh, proclaiming judgment against me. I silence that voice, uh, I condemn that voice, uh, I condemn that voice uh, by the power in the Holy by the blood of Jesus, by the reason of the blood, in Jesus' name we pray. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zela balaka zavradish. Ika bandoro bobo ko shele bendele bebi abaradish. Ali mandele bebi le bebi abaradosh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Say this loud and clear. Every valley of death prepared for my life. Every valley of death that has been prepared for my destiny, say by divine authority. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready for something unique today? Hallelujah. It's saying, when the voice of Satan was rebuked. The Bible says angels came to minister to him. <laughs> Divine voice of the Lord. <laughs> hey, are you ready for prayer? Said Divine voice of the Lord. Speak to me in the name of Jesus. Divine voice of the Lord. Speak to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Legraga zebra the higher. Let the voice of God speak to me, speak to me. Lord, my God, I want to hear your voice. My father, my father, let the voice of divinity, let the voice of salvation, let the voice of healing, let the voice of restoration, let the voice of the Holy Ghost, let the voice of Yeshua, let the voice of God minister 
to me today. Minister to me today. Minister to me today. Minister to me today. E mana katelia. Ili bibi ya pala. Eri bibi ya kasota. Ineni ni kiata. Lord, I want to hear your voice. Upon my ears to hear your voice. Voice of the Spirit. Voice of the Holy Ghost. Fall upon me today. E gana makalika la katolia. Ile mandeya. I rebuke every death and those spirit. In the name of Jesus. Shade ba 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 ba. Mon le me 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 kasavala. Hallelujah. Amen. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know what that noise is. Hallelujah. But we bless God. Manke le bondo lo bo shila ba hala ba dosh. Rebe be ka bando re ba ba kasala ba hala adish. Oh rebe be rebe ya baradish. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. By the power in the Holy Ghost. Some of us got to change our garments. Spiritual garments. Garments speaks of authority. Garments speaks of authority that you carry in the realm of the spirit. Whatever voice you carry, whatever voice, what is the voice you carry? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the what is the garment you carry? You're going to pray. <laughs> what are you going to pray? The book of Zechariah chapter 3. He talked about Joshua the high priest. The devil standing at his right hand to resist him. Because he put on a filthy garment. Hallelujah. We ought to carry the, the armor of light. Every stain in your garment provokes the enemy to accuse you. You are going to pray. <laughs> Molikala Badelia. Hallelujah. For every stain in your life brings an aroma. For every aroma attracts a kind of devil or a kind of angel. Hallelujah. Your level of purity releases a level of angels. It releases an incense instead of an order. Hallelujah. You are going to pray today. <laughs> when God begins to change your smell, He changes your level. Today you're going to pray. Say this after me. Say every garment. Every garment that attracts devils to my life. Every garment that authorizes the enemy to torment my life. Let that garment catch fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every garment that authorizes the devil to torment my life. Every garment that permits the devil to attack my mind. I command that garment. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Every garment of iniquity. Every garment of rebellion. Every garment of witchcraft. Every garment of stubbornness. Every garment of rebellion. I say burn by fire. Let the garment catch fire. I set a blaze. Every wicked garment. Every garment of hell. Every garment of darkness. Every garment attached to my life. I say be consumed by fire. Let the garment catch fire. I set ablaze every evil garment. Every garment that I trust attack. Every garment that I trust the enemy against me. Every garment of God that authorizes the devil against my life. I set that garment on fire. Let the garment catch 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 fire. Every garment of delay. Every garment of disappointment. I say burn by fire. For a God is a consequence. Fire, thou fire of God, thou power of God, consume every wicked garment, every garment in our life, every veil, every veil, every veil be consumed by fire. A gragaze, you garment of witchcraft, elagada la basilia, ilememia cataya, ragaze, gada, every garment that swallows my light, every garment that swallows my glory. I say be consumed by fire, a garabasia, a garabasia, a garabasia, a garabasia, a garabasia, a let the garment burn by fire. Let the garment burn by fire. Every garment of poverty, every garment of lack. 
be consumed by fire. A garaba kaziria, garment of rejection upon my husband, garment of rejection upon my wife, garment of rejection upon my children. I say, burn by fire. 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 In la gata la bahaya, in le bebe bebe kia, la grege zigria gata. I command the garment to catch fire. La gragaze, eleme gadelia, every veil, every veil, hide in my glory, hide in my potential, hide in my beauty, hide in my grace. Let that garment catch fire. Let the veil catch fire. Let the veil catch fire. I command the veil to catch fire. E galabasulia, eleme dalia, elemo sanda, e gabragaze garia. Jesus, elabalabaya. Let the veil catch fire. I destroy the veil. I destroy the veil. I destroy the veil. I destroy the veil. By fire, by thunder. Ila mandele kusalia. Mandele meke pia. Jele breketi katara basaya. Anana kazeli kataya. Le graga zobraha. Imeme me kizili apaya. The name of Jesus. Let the veil be catch fire. Let the veil catch fire. Magraga zabara kateli kiapa. Male palada, male palaba, male palaba, male palama, male palama kadilia. Regederia para gazontolo, ilimemia pala kadilia. Regederi bebi abaradia radosh. Zadaba daraba baka zaba daraba baka ba. Ila gada. Regederi bebi asala. Magazus. Shegedebra. Baraba dali bebi abaradi. Let the veil catch fire. Let the veil catch fire. Ali graga zabara dali bebi apaya. Maleban de Libia Paragadia Kelemen de Libia Paj. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ikada Rababaya. All Libranda Rababaka Shandabaha. Ali Grada Rabaka Sandabahayas. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Somebody say glory. Amen. Thank you, Father. I want to read the scripture very quickly. And then we go ahead and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Somebody say, backlashing spirit. Somebody say, backlash. Spirit of backlash. There is a spirit that seems to attack individuals. There is a spirit that releases when you go into a severe attack against the devil. The enemy comes with an onslaught. The enemy comes with a warfare. The enemy begins to project all kinds of things against your life. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. The enemy begins to present all kinds of attacks against you. And one of the attacks is that when you begin to fight the devil, the devil comes and hits you when you least expect. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to the book of, uh, um, a book of Acts. Hallelujah. Book of Acts, one of the funny scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 16, it says, It came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us. You will always, every time you want to pray, there is always a counteract. There is always people you come against. There are always people you attract. When your light begins to shine, when your light begins to burn, when you make an intention to go into the place of prayer, when you make an intention to have an intimacy with the Holy Ghost, when you make an intention to say, no, I want to go to the prayer room, then you see all kinds of devils begin to amount. All devils begin to show up from every kind of corner because they want you distracted. They want to distract your focus. Amen. Hallelujah. And this time they were about to go pray and yet the devil comes. Hallelujah. And begins to cry, met us and brought her masters. He said, which brought her masters much gain? By so saying, the same followed Paul and, and us and Christ saying, these are the men. Servants of the Most High, which show us the way of salvation. Yeah, this woman was being distract, distracting them. They were about to go into a place of power, which is the place of prayer. But here was a voice, begin to announce, begin to speak, begin to boost their ego, begin to turn themselves from their focus from God to themselves. These are the men of God. These are the men of God. And this she did for many days. Why? To boost pride, to impart pride. This is the, this is the network of the serpent. But Paul, being grieved, Turned and sent to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus, come out of her. And he came out the same hour. And when her masters look, look here, pay attention. And when her masters saw that the hope of her gain was gone, they called Paul 
and Silas and threw them into the marketplace unto the rulers. <laughs> they caught them. These are the men that had authority. Hallelujah. Crazy men grabbed hold of them, caught them and pushed them into the authority and brought them to the magistrates, saying these men, being Jews, do a certain trouble our city. Accusation began. They trouble our city. These are men, holy men of God. Hallelujah. And when they had laid many stripes on them, meaning they got, they beat them, they whip them. Amen. They slapped them. <laughs> they cast them into the prison. Can you imagine? <laughs> you went there for a revival, you cast out a devil, and the devil begins to come after you. All kinds of ways. That's what you do when you, when you, when you are bitten by a snake. Hallelujah. You think that you have an anointing to conquer the devil. The devil begins to come after you with different ways. Throws you into a prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Uh-uh. We went to that city. Now we are being arrested. We're in the point of death. What is going on? Verse 24. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison. A, so from prison to inner prison. Uh-uh. And made their feet fast in, in, in the stocks. Meaning there was chains around their hands. Chains around their feet. Bounded. Bounded. They kept them bound. Uh-uh. People who were once free. All of a sudden, a woman that was proclaiming salvation. After they rebuked their spirits, there was a backlash. Thrown into jail. Amen. No more freedom anymore. I'm sure they were thinking back and forth. Where's my mother? Where's my wife? Where's my children? Man, what will I do? I need to let them know that I'm arrested. I'm chained down. Hallelujah. But verse 25. Verse 25. Verse 25. I love it. Verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. And they sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, the prisoners heard them. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. <laughs> I believe by the special grace of God. For as many as you are hearing me under the sound of my voice, many of you have experienced what they call earthquakes. Many of you have experienced so much oppression, so much noises. But one thing that you don't know, that you might be moving, and it seems like you are moving, but you are literally in a spiritual treadmill. It seems that you are in a circle, in a circle of defeat. Everywhere you turn, it seems that there's an opposition. Everywhere you turn, it seems that there's no success, no achievement. Amen, hallelujah. It looks like you have been decapitated, like, <laughs> like Lodiba. It looks like you're in the place of Lodiba. It looks like you have been trapped, amen, held bound, tied down, paralyzed. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I don't know what has tied you down. I don't know what has kept your mobility. I don't know what has paralyzed your hands. I don't know what has what has, what has kept you bound in the realm of the spirit. I came here with a word that even as you are hearing the sound of my voice, as we are about to pray, an angel has been released. And I pray for you today. Whatsoever chain has paralyzed your finances, whatsoever chain has paralyzed your feet from moving with speed, with acceleration, that whatsoever has kept you bound, it seems like everybody's achieving and you're not achieving. That spirit of delay, we break today. That devil is a bastard. As you pray today, you listen to me, you will hear a sound from heaven and the devils will be terrorized. Every form of prisoners, every form of prison, when you dream, you see yourself swimming in the water. When you dream, you begin to see yourself oppressed. When you dream, you see you see a policeman locking you up. These are powers that are tying you down. These are powers that are chaining you down. But by the reason of the blood, by the reason of the blood, everything that has held you bound, today we break open. Suddenly, you can think differently. Suddenly, a new idea idea comes upon you. Are you ready for prayer today? Wherever you are, get ready. Get ready. Get yourself ready. Listen to me. Say this loud and clear. Say every chain held, every chain holding me down. Every chain binding my hands and my feet. Every satanic chain binding my, my soul. As I pray, break by fire. Are you ready for prayer? See, every chain binding my soul, every chain binding my movement, every chain binding my feet and my hands, every chain binding my marriage, every chain binding my finances, every chain binding my relationship, every chain binding my ministry, every chain binding my dreams, every chain binding my health. I say, break by fire, break by fire. Let the chain break her. Let the chain break her. Let the chain break her. Let Gregadoria. Every chain binding my wife. Every chain binding my husband. Every chain binding my children. Every chain binding my finances. I say break by fire. I say break by fire. I say break by fire. And la Gregadoria. I untie myself from the grip of the wicked. I untie myself from satanic manipulation. E Galabalia. Eleman Cadelia. Regadelia. Come on, Periscope. Eleman de Lemekepia. La Gregazeca Regadelia. 
open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the chain break. Uh, every chain over your marriage, uh, they must be broken. They must be demolished. Uh, I demolish the chain by the blood. Every chain keeping me stagnant, uh, I break it by the blood. Every chain over my prayer life, I say break by fire. I say break by fire. I say break by fire. Elagadalia, I break the chain. I demolish the chain. I dismantle the chain. I release myself. Uh, I release myself. I untie myself. Let the chain of limitation, let the chain of backwardness, I say break by fire. Elama Kadelia Balaya, Elibibia Pala Kadelia, Holy Ghost, let the earthquake of the Lord, earthquake of the Lord, earthquake of the Lord, earthquake of the Lord, rescue me now, rescue me now, rescue, rescue me now by the blood, by the blood, let me be redeemed, my family redeemed from the spirit of Elabala Kadelia, Elibibia every prison that is holding my soul, every prison, every prison by the earthquake of the Lord. I come out by fire. I come out by fire. I come out by fire. I come out from every prison door. In the name of Jesus. Le manka tala bala baba ya brosh. In Jesus' name we are praying. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Immediately all the doors were opened. Immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loose. Every prison doors <laughs> closed against me. <laughs> Every doors of opportunity that has been closed against me. Every good doors that has been closed down against my life. <laughs> By the reason of this prayer, as we begin to pray, you're going to pray. Every doors, good doors of honor, good doors of blessing for my children, for my wife, for my husband, that has been closed down. <laughs> this, as I begin to pray, they must open forcefully in this month of as we come to the end of January and enter into February, let every prophetic good door to promote me be opened. Are you ready? Are you ready? We talked about the doors, prophetic doors, two days ago. I don't know how many of you heard that message, but I'm going to pray today. Let every door that was shut against me, every prison doors, every prison doors must give way. Every prison doors must what? Give way. Are you ready for prayer? Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Say every satanic doors closed against me. Every door of wickedness closed against me. When you make that declaration, I want you to say like with a military voice. You will say, open. I didn't say open. Open and release me by the blood. 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 Are you ready? <laughs> Every satanic door closed against me. Every door of limitation keeping me on one spot. <laughs> Every wall of Jericho around my life. As I pray. By divine earthquake. Open and release me by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Let the doors be opened by the blood. Let the doors, let the doors, let the doors. Ragazaba, regederia baraka de ribibia. Let the doors be open. I open every door. I open every door. Every door shut against me. Open, 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 open. In the name of Jesus. Malagadala bahaya. We open the door by the blood. We open the door by the blood of Jesus. Lagragazumbraha. Let the doors be open. The doors of Jubilee. The doors of blessing, the doors of celebration must be open, must be open. In the name of Jesus, every door, every prison doors, open and release me by the blood. Open and release me. Open and release me. Open and release me. Shakatabaha. Open and release me. Open and release me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Ha 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 ha. 
Some of you will feel sharp pain on your, on your side. Sharp pain on your side. They're going to say this loud and clear. <laughs> Anything planted in my life to swallow my finances. Some of you having sex in your dream every day, every day. Whatsoever was planted is a seed of infirmity, is a seed of the devil to swallow your health. I wish above all that their word may prosper. I've been held, even as I so prospered. Hallelujah. When your soul is not prospering, you're under affliction, your mind, your will, and your emotion is under attack. <laughs> it's a seed that the enemy plays in your life. So if you don't take holy communion with God, when people begin to take communion with the devil, and that is when you eat food in a dream, that is what they call evil communion, demonic communion. When you become unified with the devil, and every time you take communion, you go for jobs, you get disappointed in interviews. Why? You carry this aura of rejection because why? You have been consuming food in your dream. <laughs> Every seed in my life. Every seed planted in my life to swallow my prosperity. I mean, swallow my prosperity, to swallow my health, swallow my well being, to swallow the right thinking of my soul, to swallow the light of God, to swallow revival, to swallow anything that is good in my life. Every seed planted in my life to swallow my prosperity. Receive fire, be consumed by fire. I say, burn by fire. Let the seed planted in my soul, seed of rebellion, seed of witchcraft, seed of attack, seed of failure, bearing inside of me, seed of barrenness. I say, be rooted out by fire, be consumed by fire, be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Let the seed planted in my life, every seed, every seed, every seed, burn by fire. Burn by fire, burn by fire. A gragadili bia baragadiria, a leg regazagadiria. Let the evil seed, I command it to catch fire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lift your hands. The Spirit of God will begin to minister to some of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit of God, I pray that you manifest your people upon your people now. Right now, even as I begin to pray, the hand of God is coming on some of you. Will begin to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. The power of the Holy Spirit is falling upon you. Jesus. Spirit of God, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Locate your people right now. Spirit of God, move upon their homes right now. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the hand of God begin to brood over your people. Begin to overshadow your people now. Holy Ghost, le gragaza paradaris, eleman dele bebe a paracodon shanda baha. Spirit of the living God, fire, let fire be released upon your people. Let the glory of God begin to be released upon your people right now. As that the wall of fire, the wild wind of your spirit, huh, will be released into every home right now. Oh, angels of the living God, angels of deliverance, heavenly hosts. Begin to appear in every home. Let the wind of the spirit begin to blow upon your people. Let the wind of the change. Let the wind of glory. Let the sovereign hand of the Lord begin to come upon your people right now. In the name of Jesus, every form of oppression, every form of attack, every form of depression, every form of witchcraft over their life. In the name of Jehovah, I arrest it by the blood. Every clean spirit over their lives begin to breathe out. Some of you are, will begin to get cleansed in the name of Jesus. Things will begin to jump out of your body by the power in the blood. Every eternal poison, every eternal demon, every eternal eternal serpent are breathing in their body by the power in the blood. I charge them out in their life. I command them in the name of Jesus to out of their body by the power in the blood. By the power in the blood, in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God, 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 let the fire of God
body. Cause your body right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance. Hallelujah. The fire of God is falling. 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 You're upon your home. Fire falling upon your belly. That sharp pain is disappearing. Lower back pain is disappearing. That voice in the left ears. In the name of Jehovah, I silence that negative voice. In the name of Jesus, every headache or pressure is being lifted. In the name of Jehovah, Raga Zigria, low, lower, lower stomach pain. Today, I rebuke it now. 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 By the power in the blood. Zelema Katole Katelia. Thank you, Lord. La graga zebra bibia. Look at that person puking. Look at that person puking. Yes, 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 yes. Cover of her in the name of Jesus. Cover of him in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. Come out by the power in the blood. Shakala bahalia. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Let the arrow, the sword of the Lord, is released into your belly. Release. Release. It's like a worm coming out right now. In the name of Jesus. Plaka repepepia paragashadaris. I don't know what's being tied on your waist, but I set it on fire. I destroy it now. I destroy it now. Holy Ghost. I introduce the fire of the Spirit of God to bring a sense of liberty upon your mind that has been in demonic captivity. In the name of Jesus. Be released. Holy Spirit, fresh wind. I command your bones to come back to life. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim fire upon their beings. A no hunger. A no hunger. A no hunger. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I pray for you to be baptized with fresh hunger for the Spirit of God. Fresh hunger for fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Thank you, my Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me get into the word here very quickly. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Holy Spirit of God. You are so worthy, worthy of our praise, worthy of our glory. Ela banto lo bobo ko shele bedele bebi apash, mili bebi aparando lo bobo sekete bahara dos. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know why in the body of Christ right now I'm sensing that God wants each of us to have the power. The anointing to subdue. Well, it is a spirit that haunts the body of Christ. And it's a spirit, it's an envious spirit. You must evaluate yourself sometimes if you have an envious spirit. A jealousy spirit. I don't know why I'm sensing that now. But in the body of Christ, there's always what there's always a spirit that invokes a man. I run away from people who have an envious spirit because it's close to witchcraft. People will not come to that truth or reality that they have that. But if that thing is in your life to rob you to rob you. Can you imagine if a father has that kind of spirit? He want to compete with their children, with their sons and their daughters. Amen? Hallelujah. You have to join our, 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 our uh, WhatsApp group. Our WhatsApp group. Amen? I've not announced the WhatsApp group in a long time. But let me give you the number. You can also join us on YouTube. Amen? The videos will be made live on YouTube also too. Um... You can watch the, the YouTube videos after the broadcast. Hallelujah. If you want to find us, it's on Altar of Fire and Glory YouTube. Hallelujah. Just research us there. You'll find all the videos there. Start up there. God bless everyone today. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. More of, I believe that some of you are really um, excited for what the Lord is doing so far. I thank God for those who have lifted also to me in prayers, in their prayers. Amen. I, I noticed about, you know, some few people who were praying and the Lord actually um, revealed them to me. So I thank God for, for what you've done so far. Hallelujah. Keep up the good work. Hallelujah. We all need it. 
Paul says, pray for us. Hallelujah. Pray for us that we may declare the gospel with boldness. Amen. With all boldness and clarity. By the power and the blood. Let's open our Bible to Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to deal with something very, very quickly. Uh, hallelujah. What is, what is the WhatsApp group? I'll give you the number. When you go over there, you make your research. 612-701. 612-701-5983. Can somebody post the number? Hallelujah. Amen. For the WhatsApp group. And then uh, we add you there. If you have a, if you have downloaded the WhatsApp group, that would be better for you. Because it's 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 um you want to get stay updated. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory, glory to God. I know your life will never be the same. Some of you have been having some crazy dreams. Just rise up. Hallelujah. And says, enough is enough. Amen. Enough is enough. Can somebody post the number for the WhatsApp group? Hallelujah. Keep asking over and over and over. I hope people are there to help me. Hallelujah. Ibukun, help me please. Amen. Glory to God. 612. I wish, can I type it? Let me see. 612-701-5983. Six one two seven zero one five nine eight three. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sulapa la bakadosh. Leima katilia kato lavadias. Hallelujah. Six one two seven zero one five nine eight three. You got it? Six one two seven zero one five nine three. Okay, all right. God bless you. Now let's focus now. Let's focus what the Lord is about to do. Glory to God. I'm excited. Whew. Man, I feel, I feel hot. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, my sister. The Lord bless you. More portion, more grace, and more anointing. In the name of Jesus, I decree God will begin to pour oil upon you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> ah, Jesus. God... He's, a, he's an awesome God. I tell you, I feel. Where is that song that I love? Let me play that song before I flow. There is this song. Ah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Most time I hear that song, I get so excited. It's a beautiful song. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There you go. I love it. Call the name of Jesus today. Yes, Lord. Hello. 
What is that hymn? Man, I need to get into the word of the Lord. Mm, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. My God. Ah, oh boy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How many of you feel that thing? <laughs> I just want to just, 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 I'm just so excited. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get into the word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somehow we just, oh man, I want to play some worship, but you know what? We don't have much time. We don't have time. Hallelujah. <coughs> Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. I know some of you have heard this message before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6. Thank you, my father. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be an illumination of your word. Give us great understanding. I speak light into every mind. Let the word and the letter spoken out of these. And Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, incubate every word with the light, with your grace, with your anointing to liberate to heal, to deliver. Father, let every vessel be set free and be filled with your spirit. Make every vessel that hears the sound of my voice today, let them be filled with the holy hunger. Let them be hungry for the Lord. I break the spirit of fear. Lord, let the spirit of boldness enter into your spirit today, that they will be encouraged, empowered in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of God, overshadow every vessel, strengthen every vessel, Convict every vessel. Revive every vessel. Stir it up. Stir up your anointing in every soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. We just six days left. Um, six days left to the end of our fast. Hallelujah. To the end of our fast. I believe the fast will be February 5th. Hallelujah. That will be on Monday. Praise God. Thank God for everyone who dialed in and had the opportunity to be with us today. Praise God. Praise God Almighty. Let the Lord be your strength. Let the Lord empower you. Let the Lord grace you. Let the Lord fire you. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Finally, my bedroom be strong in the power of his mind. Amen. Be strong in the power of his mind. Be strong in the power of his mind. Hallelujah. Be strong in the power of his mind. What does he mean by the power of his mind? There is the spirit of might. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah chapter 11, it talks about the spirit of mind, the spirit of counsel and the spirit of might. What is the might of God? The might of God is the mightiness of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
What is the power of might? Amen. It is the mightiness of God. It is the ability of God, the force of God. It is the strength of God, the agility. Amen. Hallelujah. The ferocious, the brutal anointing, the anointing that scares the devil. Hallelujah. Be strong in the might of God. What is the might? The might is the ability that came upon Samson. What is the might? You see the book of Revelation, I mean the book of Isaiah chapter 11. The book of Isaiah chapter 11. Is that Isaiah chapter 11 or Isaiah chapter 12? I believe Isaiah chapter 11. Hallelujah. It talks Talks about the seven spirits of God, the seven spirits of God, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of count, the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the spirit of, the, the, the spirit of um, um, counsel and the fear of God. Hallelujah. If you think we are born sinners, hallelujah. Amen. We will get into that. We'll get into that. Just follow up with us. Amen. Hallelujah. You will begin to see. Amen. The abilities of God. Amen. The spirit of might and of power. The spirit of might. The spirit of might. The spirit of might. Amen. What is the spirit of might? When it comes upon you, it is a spirit that causes you, it gives you this this, 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 this anointing. Hallelujah. It's, it's the, this spirit, when the power of the Lord comes upon you, it is the right hand of God. It causes you to begin to do extraordinary things. Amen. When the spirit of might is in operation in your life, you are not lukewarm, you are not fearful. You become very very bold, very bold, very brutal, very scary. When the devil hears your voice, it's terrorized. When the spirit of might comes upon you, it awakens the lion-like anointing inside of you. Amen. Many of us have died in the realm of the spirit. Many of us have succumbed to the spirit of fear. Amen. Listen to me. There will there, 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 there be five legs of the spirit of fear. There are five voices of the spirit of fear. There are five spirits of the spirit of fear in the operations of our life. If you allow it, amen, it can decapacitate you. It can paralyze you. It can weaken you. Amen. What is this spirit of fear? Amen. Spirit of fear. Let me explain it. The spirit of fear is the spirit of rejection. Are you hearing me? When the spirit of rejection is in operation, it, may, it makes you not to, it makes you not to to flow freely. When you are with people, you begin to dis dislike yourself. You begin to reject yourself. You begin to see yourself unaccepted. Because the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Hallelujah. The spirit of fear. Somebody said the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear has its children. Hallelujah. The first one is rejection. And the second one is insecurity. Amen. When you have not dealt with issues in your life, the spirit of insecurity, hallelujah, has the ability to make you envious, makes you jealous of another. It makes you to, it, it puts a veil in front of you not to see your strength, not to see your abilities. Amen. You begin to compare yourself. The spirit of insecurity. Hallelujah. And when the spirit of insecurity is there, low self-esteem. Low self-esteem is a very deadly spirit. Hallelujah. Deadly spirit, low self-esteem. You don't have, you want somebody to boost you up. You want somebody to encourage you. You don't have the courage of, you don't have the courage to identity of who you are. Hallelujah. When you have, when the spirit is there, is, these are the children of Lucifer, the children of fear, the spirit of inferiority complex, inferiority complex is another spirit again. Low self-esteem, insecurity, rejection. Hallelujah. Amen. These are giants that it can bring down. These are little ants that can bring down the giants. It can, this is what operated in the life of Saul, the life of Herod. When this spirit is, if you don't arrest or bind this spirit, listen to me, you can be among those, who, you can be so intelligent. And when you are among scholars, you are among people who are so bright, and they ask you to speak, once this spirit of insecurity, inferiority, low self esteem, rejection, is in, this is what is affecting a lot of Africans because they are very smart, very agile, they are very intelligent. When they come over here, well studied over there as compared to here, when they come over here and they mingle with those who are around here, this insecurity, inferiority, low self-esteem begin to downplay upon their onset, begin to downplay upon their attitude, even in sports. They begin to count themselves Amen. And less privilege. And as so reason, as they begin to think, they begin to see others as champions, as giants. That's what happened. Hallelujah. When God sent uh, uh, Caleb and Joshua before them, the other guys that went and they said, what? We are, we are, we are, we are ants. Amen. Before them. And they are giants before us. Why? It was the spirit of insecurity. It was a voice of fear speaking. If you don't paralyze the spirits, amen, you will always feel, hallelujah, you always feel others are better than you. Amen. But for you to have noticed that in preaching too, I've noticed that as a minister. When I was rising up as a young boy, amen, and I was sent to go minister and all the time, I always realized and always find out why is it that all these people are so bold declaring the word of God. And every time I've done my 40 days before, this was when I did my 40 days. I was fasting 40 days and 40, you know, 40, 40 days. And when I was fasting and I go to go preach, I realized I'd be, I'd be so scared to even preach because why? I've seen a lot of, you know, great leaders 
preaching and ministering. Amen. Who am I to speak? And I get very insecure, very I have this inferiority complex. And I said, Lord, what is this? And I didn't know what spirit it was. But I realized I couldn't declare the word of God because I was so nervous. I said, who am I? I was so caught up with the people's success. Sometimes I would cry and call my mentor. I said, I need some prayers. And the Lord says, lock yourself off in the hotel. Don't come up to one day. And the Lord says, Sp speak in tongues for about four or five hours. I begin to speak in tongues, speak in tongues, speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Pray and pray and pray and pray. By the time I came out, I was like a giant. I began to speak. Those days I would speak and be looking at the time. I went to run away. So I began to speak with such boldness. And I said, Lord, why am I receiving this authority? The Lord says, because you never asked me for boldness. So when I began to study the spirit of fear, I began to realize insecurity, inferiority, low self-esteem. Rejection. These things, if you begin to bind and arrest it, listen to me. Every time a man is abused, every time a woman is abused, emotional, physical abuse, verbal abuse, whatsoever you name it, he opens the door and these spirits begin to enter in. When the spirits enter in, it, 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 it breaks your, your morals, it breaks your character, it begins to release a kind of hurt. Every man or woman who is, has been hurt, every man or woman who has been hurt or gone through pain, amen, experiences this nonsense, filthy spirit. Hallelujah. And so you must erase, you must pull out all such nonsenses from your life because this spirit when it's an oppression in your life listen to me it will hinder it will hinder it will oppress you it will make you not to feel special when you stand with other people other races you stand with the Asian you stand with the black you stand with the white whoever race you are you will feel each of you to feel feel who you are in God you feel what? down you feel insecure you feel inferiority it's one thing to feel superior in Christ it's another thing to feel arrogant don't let that happen in your life. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. So, when I, so I realized that I was given an opportunity to preach in one big, big conference. And I began to wonder. I said, Lord, I would get so scared. So scared. So intimidated. And I said, oh. And the Holy Spirit said, bind these four forces of fear. Fear, insecurity, rejection, low self-esteem. into a place of prayer I begin to bind and arrest such forces take authority over it when I did it's like my words flow freely it's like I was myself I didn't feel like impressing my, impressing anybody I was like wow you mean these four spirits can literally begin to make you want to impress people I was just myself spend time binding these spirits you will see yourself with such clarity you will see yourself just natural. You will see yourself not pressurized to impress another. You will just be your natural self. Hallelujah. Can somebody type it for me? These four spirits that I just mentioned now. Rejection. Fear. Inferiority. Complex. Low self-esteem. Security. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what is the ammon that we need to have upon our life? We're reading that be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the power of his might. In the power of his might. Never, I was talking to his sister a few days ago and she kept on emphasizing Okay, listen to me. These three spirits, you need to emphasize with boldness. Paralyze the spirit in your life. Then you'll be a giant. If you don't paralyze the spirits, you realize that people can rule over you. You realize that you can be led trying to impress people. But when you bind such spirits, you realize that you are released. You are free. Very clever spirits. Those spirits you see. They enter into any vessel that's been abused. Hallelujah. I tell you, when the spirit of might came upon Samson, it was another man. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord will release the spirit of might to baptize, to fall upon you with fresh fire, with fresh unction, with so much zeal. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. The power of his might. 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 Hallelujah. The power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. How many of you need the power of God? How many of you need the power of his might? Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Amen. It is time to ascend on high. It is time to increase our level of prayer. If you have been praying for 30 minutes, just pray for 30 minutes and you stop. Pray for 30 minutes and you stop. There, there are some devils. There are some devils that 30 minutes prayer cannot move them. Amen. 30 minutes prayer cannot move them. You must ascend your level of prayer. You must climb it like your ladder and begin to pray more than three, four hours. If you can pray in tongues for more than three hours, just non-stop. Sitting down, standing, walking, amen, you begin to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Just begin to blast the tongues. Listen to me. You will be strong in the power of his mind. Many of us don't edify ourselves. Many of us don't pray in the Holy Ghost. So we don't revive ourselves. We don't empower ourselves. We don't rejuvenate ourselves. But if you must do it, listen to me. The Holy Ghost will come so strong upon you, you will be turned into another man. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The power of his might. When you become power in the might of God, every label of sickness, every garment of sickness, every sickness that will be placed upon you will literally fall. We literally lose his pangs over you. We break away. We just break away. Hallelujah. And the more you pray, the more you look unto him. Is The Bible says... Amen. Did I look upon him? What? You will be transformed. You will be transformed by the light of God. The light of God will be released inside of you. You begin to wear the garment of light. You might not see the light. But demons, in jet of Satan, when they look at you, they go see the light. If you pray so much in tongues, when you go to the store, those who will be possessed, they, they can't look to your eyes because they will get convicted. They get convicted by the light of God. I believe by the Spirit of God that as I begin to pray, the unction of the Spirit of God, the power of prayer, the Spirit of Elijah, the power of Elijah, this is the Spirit of might, will come upon you. Elijah represents the prophets. Every time we talk about the prophets, God always uses Elijah. Every time we talk about the law, we talk about Moses. Why is God always saying Elijah? Because God is tired of talking about prophet, prophets when they say tosses, Lord tosses. No. Real prophets carry the power, the power, the power, the power, the power. These signs shall follow them in my name. They shall cast out devils. That's the first gift or the first sign of a believer. In my name, they shall what? Drive out unclean spirits. Power against unclean spirits. Power against dark forces. Power against demons. Powers against sicknesses and illnesses and cancer. I pray for you. How do you grow in the Lord? How do you grow? How do you grow? How do you grow in the power of his mind? Number one. Develop your prayer language. Hallelujah. Develop what? The prayer language. You build up yourself. You stir up the Holy Ghost as you begin to pray. You stir up the giftings of the Spirit when you pray in tongues. You stir up the Spirit of faith. Hallelujah. Number two. Jesus said, Man shall not tempt the Lord thy God. When Jesus rebuked Satan, he said, you will not eat the bread of the Lord. It's not every day. Every day. It's not every time. You dwell on kind of things. He rebuked him. He said, but by the word of the Lord. Many of us, we depend on physical things. But I tell you something. When you get married to the word of the Lord, when you get married to his word, something happens in your life. Read the word every day. Before you go to bed and when you wake up. You will see the word of God enter your dream. You will see the word of God coming out from your mouth. It's beautiful when you go to bed and you begin to sing when you wake up. It means God has given you a victory. Every time you sing, is a song of victory. I pray for you today that God will give you total liberty in your spirit. May you be liberated from every form of attack, every form of warfare. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I pray for you that God will begin to illuminate you. God will begin to sanctify you. God will begin to empower you and grace you in this hour. Hallelujah. Please get ready for what God is about to do in this season. Some of us are wondering, what are we talking about? Hallelujah. Now you begin to read, you begin to go down. Hallelujah. Why do we need the power of God, the power of his might? The power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The power of his might. I'm talking about power. The next one is fasting. The Holy Spirit's diet 
to display his power is to abstain from food. When God says, except the man pick up his cross and follow me, the word cross is cross are only for you to graduate as a Christian, as to be labeled as a matured warrior for Christ or to identify with Christ. For God to give you that certificate that says you have graduated with a PhD working with God. You have to go through the, uh, you see like a soldiers, they go through the military boot camp and after they've trained, they've trained, they now say, okay, now you're qualified to go into the military, to go fight. That's what happens with the cross. The cross is for you to wrestle with your flesh. You wrestle with your flesh till what? Your flesh has given way. And the divinity inside of you, which is the inner man, comes out and manifests. When you've lost your identity in God, and it's not about you anymore, it's all about God's mission, it's all about his kingdom. Your zeal is for the kingdom, not about your identity. Then, the, 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 the cross is upon you. The cross, the identity of Christ is upon you. The mark of Christ is upon you. And from there on now, you can now go and fight. And every fight you do, is because the devil doesn't see you, the devil sees God fighting through you. And when you've lost your identity in God, every victory that you go through, every battle you go through is guaranteed. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, God will be with you. Because now you've married him. You've graduated through the cross. Through the cross. The cross is a dangerous one because you'll be scandalized. You'll be insulted. You'll be despised. You'll be put in jail. You'll be put in prison. You'll be beaten by men. And the cross, make sure that you don't react. The cross, make sure that you don't slap or revenge. The cross, make sure that you don't respond. Anger for anger. Hallelujah. That is the cross. That is the true signs of maturity. True signs of maturity. True signs of maturity. Many of us have lost this act. Hallelujah. Many of us have lost this act. We have doing too many things. For before you reign with Christ, you must grow downward, not grow upward. Growing upward is success. Growing upward is triumph. Growing upward is prosperity. But growing downward is what is more painful. As you grow downward, people step upon you. God watches your reaction, how you react. As you grow downward, God watches your perseverance. As you grow downward, people will drive ahead of you. People will be moving. People will be annoying you. People who are very smart around you will start reacting wicked in anyhow. So people will start becoming insensitive towards you. Very insensitive. Every little thing wants to annoy you just for you to react and open your mouth. If you open your mouth, you start again your journey. You begin to start again. But when you close your mouth, and that was what Jesus was doing as he was going to the cross. They were slapping him, beating him, accusing him. They came before the pilot. He kept his mouth shut. Who are you? An opportunity for Jesus to say, I am Jesus, I am the King of Kings, he kept his mouth shut. Not to glorify himself. That's self. He was trying to go to the cross to pay the price. But having done all, when they killed him, he said, I'm giving you a name that is above every other name. And from there on, he was so powerful. And whoever mentioned his name, the devils feared him. Before then, there was no authority. But after that, the power of the Lord was so much upon him. Hallelujah. You will reign with him. But when you grow downward, it's very painful. You will be stripped by men. Robbers will call you robbers. A time for you to defend yourself. But it's just a time to hold yourself and be patient. They did that to Stephen. They stoned him. They spat upon Paul. Beat him. And many of us, we go through that. They may not physically beat you, but they can accuse you. And sometimes it's time for you to just say, you know what? Lord, let them do their thing. But God watches your reaction. Because that is your cross. Husband will come, want to slap you, beat you. Just keep quiet and just cry to God. Lord, convict them. Convict them. Oh, that's a powerful prayer. That's a powerful prayer. When he says, Lord, convict them, God will begin to drive their heart and give them no rest. And they won't try it. They won't tell you. But they know that they couldn't rest after they messed up with you. Because the Holy Ghost convicted them. You can literally pray. I've prayed that before. Lord, drive them. Drive their hearts. Drive their heart with conviction. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. By be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor of the Lord. Why? Because we will wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Let's jump. Let's jump. Take all the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all stand. Stand therefore, having the loins about the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. All this breastplate of righteousness, your faith with the preparation of the gospel, above all, taking the shield of faith, you'll be able to quench the fairy darts of the wicked. You take up the helmet of salvation. I mean, I could, I wish we have the time to run through all that. It's not literally you going each one of that and trying to take these things. You know what is you trying to say? Breastplate of righteousness. You must live a righteous, you must have a right standing with God. I've always said this and I will say this again. Mostly ladies, never go to bed angry. Never go to bed. You hear me? Never go to bed offended. When somebody's talking to you, don't jump into bed and just go into the day. Somebody offended you, now you're having a day, you go into a serious argument, you're having a day, and most ladies do this. They go into the bed and they go sleep. Huh? What? You are just opening the gate for demonic attack. Telling the devil, now you can come in and do whatever you want to do. Because the Bible says, why men slept? The enemy came to his hotels. This is what the enemy God was trying to do. Breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate is like a shield. Righteousness means right standing with God. Close the doors. Repent quickly. Say I'm sorry very quickly. Very quickly. Once you say I'm sorry, oh my goodness. That word I'm sorry is can seem so humiliating, can seem so provocative, can seem so, um, when you use the word I'm sorry, people don't like that word. Because that is like I'm abasing myself. But that is growing, growing that word. That word, I'm sorry. Become addicted to that word. You might look like a, you might look stupid before people. It's okay. God will exalt you. God will exalt you. Sometimes mothers need to say, I'm sorry to their daughters. Sometimes mothers need to say, daughters, I'm sorry. My son, I'm sorry. But the ego might not let them. Practice that act. You see, when you study that, when you begin to read through, you see something. Hallelujah. Righteousness. Right standing with God. Don't go to bed angry. Reconcile. Even if you can't say with your mouth vocally, text them and say, I'm sorry. Even if you don't know how to say, just say, why do you offend me? Why do you do that? In whichever ways I forgive you, I release you. When you say that, you feel good on the inside. Don't hold it. You holding it, you think that maybe you are and the devil is your adversary. There are so many unseen forces that we don't see. We think we are just seeing these guys, we are focusing on this guy. No. There are demons that want to invade our soul. By you not saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to bed angry, the enemy can bind you. you don't you know that? Can bind your finances. Because by you saying, no, I get it, reconciling with your neighbor, by the time you go to bed, angels are also paralyzed. Angels are held from praying, from interfering because you've opened the gate that's what the Bible says if you have an offering and you get to the altar and you have an altar against your neighbor what did he say? drop it, go and reconcile with your neighbor and come back and your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of peace the peace of God is upon you. Above all, taking the shield of faith. What is the shield of faith? Let the word of God be so rich inside of you that it drives away every form of unbelief. When the word of God is, is inside of you, you begin to speak the word of God to change your environment, to change your situation. Because faith comes in by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When the word of God is played in your home, 
through audio series. When the word of God is dramatized in your ears, why you on the treadmill? When the word of God is played in your car, everywhere you go, when the word of God is played while you are sleeping, even the devil will be hindered because the word of God is being played. I heard about a testimony how demons were trying to enter this man's house, but they could not because this man kept playing with the Bible scriptures, Bible scriptures, audio scriptures. He began playing the book of Psalms. And the demons had to tell somebody else to go and shut down that radio. Shut it down before we enter the house. The music you play, the one you play before you leave the house, put some, put the Bible. Let it play all day, all day. Remember the words that I speak, the spirits and the life. The life of God will just flow into your house like a river. You don't believe me? Play rock and roll in your house. Just play rock and roll. First thing you will feel, you will feel headache. You will feel the force of the wicked. Just oof, feel, begin to feel depressed. When, when, when I hear music like rap, all that crazy music, R&B, things that are not godly, I, I don't know what it is. I begin to feel dryness on the inside. I begin to feel heaviness. I begin to feel almost like sick. Just hearing the music, just hearing the songs. But when I hear divine songs, something erupts inside of me. Hallelujah. Let's go further. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm really to don't want to really run through. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So helmet of salvation, put it upon you. How do you put it upon you? He said the sword of the spirit, meaning you have to read the word of God. Read the book of Psalms, meditate. One of the greatest uh, multivitamins for speakers or for preachers before they preach is Psalm 119. Psalm 119 is the greatest multivitamin before you preach. If you are to proclaim a word, to preach, or to minister, to speak, and you meditate on Psalm 119 before you go speak, oh my goodness, the Holy Ghost, that's the best meal you can give to the Holy Ghost. Your mind will be so fruitful, so empowered. Yes, it's the longest chapter in the Bible, but when you meditate upon it, you meditate, you begin to speak in tongues while reading the book of Psalm 119. You become like a spiritual giant. Missiles of the Holy Ghost will be flowing through you. Hallelujah. When huh, Jesus. I love verse 18. Look at what it says. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Praying. Look at what it says in Philippians 4 6. I'm going to round up with that. Time is gone, time is fast spent. I mean, Philippians 4 6. I love that scripture. I may be careful for nothing but by prayer and supplication. Shall we go there? Hallelujah. Philippians 4 6. It says what? Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known before God. Be careful for nothing but by prayer and supplication. Prayer is one of the greatest tools you can ever do. Prayer is the greatest weapon you can ever gain access into his presence. Every time the enemy comes after you, use the weapon of prayer. Just go and start begin to pray tongues. You don't even, you might be so worried, full of worry. Go into the presence of God and begin to pray. Live Rava Rabba Sondorios. As you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, something will take place upon you. God, his shield and his buckler will come and appear and wrap you over. Sometimes angels are around you, you don't even know it. Sometimes when, even when you have so much, so discouraged, you don't even know that God is around your life. When you begin to hear the word of God and begin to read the word of God, the word of God comes like a helmet of salvation and covers your mind, seals your mind from every negative thoughts, negative voices negative projections of the enemy. But when you begin to pray and you begin to release your prayers to the Lord, when you listen to me, one of the things that baffles me is that the only secret Jesus revealed to Peter, James, and John was that he was about to die at the cross. He was about to be betrayed. There were other secrets Jesus never revealed his dream. He never revealed his visions that he had. 
that God has given him. He never revealed his communications. All was a secret. Why? Because the devil was listening to the communication of the things. We need to learn from that. All of us share our dreams. We share our visions. We open up too much. But Jesus never revealed where God appeared to him, where God spoke to him privately. No. Never shared it with his disciples. It was a private matter. And that scripture was being fulfilled. Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication. Look at what it says in this verse. I love that. After you've prayed and you prayed and you prayed, what happens into your life? There is something that happens that gives you a guarantee that God has answered your prayers. Look at the next verse. Verse 7. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding. Somebody say the peace of God. When you reach a place of prayer, take it to worship. He said, be careful nothing in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Thank the Lord in all that you have done. Thank the Lord in what he's about to do. Thank the Lord what he has done. Hallelujah. And the peace of God, the peace of God, the assurance of God, the self-serenity serenity of the Lord, which passes all understanding, which gives you a mind of rest, that yes, everything is at rest. Come unto me, O ye that labor, and I'll give you rest. And ye shall keep your hearts and mind to Christ Jesus that peace and when you've prayed when you've rested in him look at what it says in verse 8 which is the hardest I struggle with this myself finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise, think on these things. Meaning meditate on these things. Meaning reason on these things. Meditate on it. Those things which you have both learned and received, heard, see me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. We need the peace of God in our daily life. We need the peace of God in, in every area of our lives. In the affairs of our life, we need the peace of God. In our family, in our marriage, in our husband, wife, children, we need the peace of God. May you cry to God today and say, Lord, release upon me the peace of God. As I go today to my work, to my job, Father, release the peace of God. Let your peace overshadow me. Listen to me. In anything that you're doing and you don't find the peace of God in it, probably God doesn't want you to attempt such things. Reevaluate your work. Amen. And search for the peace of God. Lord, let the peace of God reign in my heart. I pray for you that the peace of God will reign over your family. I pray for you that the peace of God will reign over your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for allowing me to bring the word of God even to you and to your house. Your life will never be the same again. Somebody say glory. I say your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody, you are blessed and your life will never be the same again. Amen. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. I lift your hands up. Shall we take a communion very quickly? Amen. It's going to be very quick, not with the worship, but it's going to get your communion very quickly. I want us to take a communion. Communion. Hallelujah. I want us to take a communion. Hallelujah. Man, I feel strongly today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know about you. I feel a strong presence of the Lord. A strong presence. I feel like an angel is beside me here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys definitely cannot see it, but with the spiritual eyes of your heart, you can see it. There is an angel with angel wing. It's very bright. It takes the eyes of the spirit to perceive and to see that. I know. I know what I'm saying.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. People proclaim, I see angels, I see angels, I see angels. I just laugh. If you've never seen an angel with a thorough encounter, let's be careful when we share, we see an angel. But truly, truly, there was an angel behind. I don't know now, but I sensed the angel while I was speaking. In Jesus' name. Some of you are so blessed. Hallelujah. Let's take a communion very quickly. I want to take a communion and then we go. Hallelujah. Take our communion. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Glory, 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 glory. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Where is my communion? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Libros Sampata Lavados. Liban Telebebea Parados. Lemon de Lemecapaya. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we take our communion very quickly? Sing one some soft song. Oh. Hallelujah. I, I love your presence. Amen. Glory, 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 glory to God. Amen. Let's lift our communion very quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we get into your world, into this communion. Lord, revive ourselves, revive our being, revive our hearts. Let the light of God, let the light of God be released through this communion. As the communion comes upon us, I pray the Lord that the light of God will fall upon us. Lord, change our life, change our hearts, change our mind with the light of God. Let it be a reflection of your character, the character of God, the peace of God, the meekness of God, the humility of God. Lord, the teachableness of God. Let it come upon us. Spirit of humility, fall upon our spirit. Let us be like you. Let us be like you. Oh, God. Let us speak like you. Let's smell like you. Let's see like you. Let's talk like you. In Jesus' name. Lift it up.
Aleluya. Broke the bread and said, This is my bread. This is my body. As often as you do, do it to remember something. Father, we thank you for your body. We break it and we partake of this communion. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Let's take the bread. Father, we lift up the blood before you now. In the name of Jesus. As we drink of your blood. In union, we partake of your blood. Father, let us be transformed. Let's be translated. Let the blood of Jesus transfuse us now with your blood. Holy Spirit, rebuke, remove every toxic, toxins, every spiritual toxin in our life. Let it be flushed out. Every food that we've swallowed, eaten in the dream, every bondage or pressure, let it be flushed out of our system as we drink of this blood. Let the life and the Zoe of God be released into our heart, released into our spirit, released into our life, the very Zoe of God to quicken our mortal body, quicken our mortal body, quicken our mortal body. Let faith arise. Let the fear of God arise in us. Let the boldness of God arise in us. Let your healing anointing swallow every death, swallow every darkness in our body in the name of Jesus. Spirit of God, quicken our mortal body, quicken our mind. With the very life. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. He came, let him have life and have it more abundant. Let the abundant life of God, the flowing of this presence of God, fall upon us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, we lifted up the cup and said, As often as you drink my blood, do it to remember us of me. We take the blood in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Drink the blood in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for transformation. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, everyone. God bless you for drinking the blood with us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. I want to pray for those who send their tithes, who send their offerings. Hallelujah. Lord, let the hand of God come upon you. May the hand of God sustain you. I decree and I declare every law of barrenness, every law of the enemy, every law that has been set to hold back your blessings. I command that law to be paralyzed, to be broken from your life today. I speak fruitfulness as the priest of God. I speak the blessings of God over you, over your family. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever thing that you do in this season will begin to prosper. I declare that your vine is prospering. I declare the fruit of your body is blessed. Your going out is blessed. Your children is blessed. Your household is blessed. Your, your job is blessed. In the name of Jesus, I decree a season of restoration has begun over your life. In Jesus' name, whatsoever was stolen from you is being restored now. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you for all those who have been given to the ministry, supporting the ministry. I want to thank you for so much for allowing us to come into your homes. Hallelujah. God bless you for all the support you've done. Hallelujah. This year is going to be a glorious year. Hallelujah. It's going to be a glorious year. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The presence of God is going to rest so much in our lives, so much in our homes. Amen. Never lose touch of His presence. Never lose touch of His presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Man, it feels so good. Let it feels so good. It feels so good. Hallelujah. God bless you today. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. My people, how are you? Are you blessed? Praise, praise God. Praise God. God bless everyone today. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You want to reach out to me? Some of you, my number is 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. Send me a text. I will add you. If you want to join on WhatsApp, send me a text. I will add you. 
Hallelujah. And pray also pray for you. God bless you. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Let's share the grace very quickly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in God's house forever and ever. Amen. Moa, God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. You are worthy of our...